Hi guys, this is Garrett Garvin, and I'm making this video to show you some of the uses for the OpenFace Chinese calculator. In this tutorial, I'll be referencing expected value or EV a lot, which in this case just means how many points your hand is worth at any given time, not taking into consideration your opponent's hand. So we're going to start by opening the app from the application menu. This pulls up the main screen where you can select the number of players and your position. First position means you're first to act, second second, and if you're in the same position as the number of players that means you're the dealer. For this tutorial we're going to choose two players and we're going to be first to act. Once you're done selecting the players in your position, press start. On the right, I'm going to have a sample hand just so I can show you how you might use the app during a live hand. And on the left, you can see the basic layout of the app. I have to scroll through it just because it's on my computer, but most phones should be able to fit the whole screen on their device. So here we're Delta starting hand and I'm just going to run through a couple ways you might want to play this hand and how the app can help you decide which way is better. Here's one way you might want to play this hand and the first thing you might want to do is find out your chances of making a full house by the end of the hand. So to do this you would leave your draws left at 8 because you still have 8 remaining draws but you would change the number of outs to five. You can do this by either moving the blue slider or using the plus and minus buttons. There's two sevens left and three aces, so a total of five outs. Next, you would change the outs needed button to two because you need two of those five outs to make your full house. After that, you can change the royalty value to 6 in this case, because usually a full house on the bottom is worth 6 royalty points, but really you can change it to whatever royalties you're playing with. Then down on the bottom, you can see your expected value and also your percentage of hitting your full house. Your expected value is one point. 37 and your chances of hitting the full house is 22 percent. Another way you could play this hand is by putting the three hearts on bottom. Now you would change your outs to 10 because there are 10 hearts left in the deck. Your outs needed is still 2 but now your royalty value drops to 4. Now you can see that your expected value has gone up to 2.44 and your odds of hitting the flush are actually 61%. Now let's look at our opponent's hand for a second. The opponent's hand will always be depicted with the darker background. Now let's say we draw the king of diamonds and decide to place it in the middle. The first thing we're going to do is decrease the number of draws by one because we just used up one of our draws. And also we're going to decrease our outs by one because if you remember our opponent had a heart. Now if you notice we're only working with the low hand right now because our middle and top hands really aren't defined enough for the calculator to be of any use. You can see how changing the number of draws remaining and the number of outs we have affects our EV and our percentages. Our opponent draws the Nine of Diamonds and we then draw the Queen of Clubs and put it in the middle. So again the first thing we're going to do is decrease the number of draws by one. Nothing else has really changed. I don't really want to incorporate the middle hand yet, so we're just going to go on to the next draw. Our opponent draws the six of hearts, and we draw the six of diamonds. So again, decrease our draws by one, and our outs is decreased by one because they drew a heart. Now our opponent draws a three of spades, and we draw a seven of diamonds. So decrease our draws by one, 
And then what we can do is at the top of the calculator click on the top tab and what you're going to do is change the royalty value to 2 which is a pretty standard royalty for 7's up top and then you're going to click this check mark called made which basically just tells the app that you have already made this hand and you can see that it adjusts the EV value accordingly and also change your top percentage to 100. Next click the mid tab and what we're going to do is calculate the odds of us missetting. So what we're going to do is change the outs to 8 because our opponent has one of the 9's so we have 3 kings, 3 queens and 2 9's for a total number of 8 outs. Our outs needed is just one because we just need to hit one of these three cards to keep from missetting. Then what we're going to do is click the misset checkbox. Basically what this checkbox means is that if you don't hit whatever inputs you have on the screen for this hand, you will misset the hand. So that 66% down there shows us our chances of not missetting. So this basically means that there's a one in three chance that we miss set and as you can see that also affects our EV value down at the bottom left. Our opponent draws the king of clubs and we then draw the eight of hearts. So first let's decrease our draws by one, decrease our outs in the middle hand by one because they drew one of the kings, then switch to our low tab and we're going to change the number of outs needed to one because now we only need one out and we're also going to decrease the number of outs because we just hit one of our outs. Now our opponent draws the ten of diamonds and makes a full house on the bottom. We then draw the ace of clubs. Let's take a look at a couple scenarios. First let's look at putting it in the middle. We're going to decrease our number of draws by one and also on the low hand we're going to scroll down to royalty value and change it to zero because now we get no royalty points even if we make our flush. We're also going to increase the number of outs by two to nine and click the miss set checkbox because now we are technically miss set on our low hand unless we hit a heart or an ace. As you can see our expected value dropped dramatically down to negative 2.77. Next let's look at putting the ace on the bottom. With the ace on the bottom the royalty value still stays at zero but now we can click the made checkbox. As you can see our expected value jumps up. None of the other values really matter after the made checkbox is checked because it automatically inputs 100%. Our opponent then draws the five of diamonds and we draw the five of clubs. At this point the calculator really has no more use since we have to play all our cards in the middle no matter what, but it still could be fun just kind of see what your percentages are and what not, so go ahead and click the negative sign next to draws left. And we end up hitting our queen to keep from missetting, so not a terrible hand even though we didn't exactly win. A couple other features, if you hit the menu button, a clear and clear all options pop up and if you click clear it will just clear the current selected hand whether it be top, middle, or low. If you hit clear all it will clear all the hands. Once you have completed the hand you can hit the next button in the top right and it will automatically advance your position and reset all the fields. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the app and that it helps you with your open face Chinese game.